In the chaos of the riots in Birmingham, people opened fire at the police. The helicopter was shot at, as were officers on the street. In London, I was told about a stash of guns, so we alerted the police, but still needed the location. Eventually, I was told to expect a message. OK, so this text has just arrived. It's guns in yellow and orange JD bag, so presumably JD Sports, at St Peter's Court, Wickham Road, Brockley, London, which is south-east London. And then there are some instructions as to where to find them. Open first bin area at entrance. On left-hand side, this is a black metal door. You will find in bin the guns within the bag. Straight away, we went back to the Metropolitan Police, who had a search team on standby. It's uh, blocks of flats, and we're looking in the communal areas outside. Within an hour and a half of receiving that text message, over 30 officers were in Brockley. Such is the nature of policing London at the moment. This is a joint operation between the Metropolitan Police and also officers from Cheshire who are down in the capital offering support for other events. Now, as you can see, they have already started searching the area around this block of flats. They're putting a cordon in place and then they will be going into this bin store, which is the location given to us in this text message. Handguns or long? Two bags. Firearms. Okay. Stuffs. There's at least two or three. So, Inspector, your team have gone in and found what seems to be firearms. What happens from this point? We'll leave them in situ. We'll get a scenes of crime on them and advise on the best way of recovering it. And we'll have a firearms officer come down and look at the weapons and make sure that they are safe so they accidentally as they're being recovered. There may, though, be other weapons in the area, so the search is thorough. It's Friday evening, so people are getting on with their lives. One man, though, appeared agitated. He stopped and questioned, but only for a few minutes. The focus remains on the weapons. Armed officers have now arrived to make the guns safe. They look old, but dangerous. That was just another this is the outer. This is the outer bag. That was the second that's in that Our source has told us that they were hidden by gangs in anticipation of further riots. they have two old flintlock style pistols, a double barrel flare gun, a single barrel flare gun and one revolver. The pistols are almost antiques but this is the reality of what younger gang members deal with. They are relatively cheap and easier to get hold of. An old is not necessarily any less lethal. In Liverpool in 2007 the schoolboy Rhys Jones was caught up in a gang shootout. He was killed by a 1915 Smith and Wesson revolver dating from World War I. But as the analysis starts, something suddenly changes. Officers saw someone in one of the flats throwing out what looked like a gun cartridge and also a silencer. The armed police stop their work and surround the flats. Ten minutes later, the man who had earlier is led away. It's all right, yeah? Comfy. Arrested on suspicion of firearms. But at this stage, there's nothing to suggest that the 18 year old suspect is linked to the stash of guns. This is a hugely successful operation, not just for the Metropolitan Police, but for the large 
a member of the community has felt confident enough to use Sky News um, to come to us with information that there were weapons somewhere within this area. Now I think that first of all shows that the community still have confidence in the police. They've used you to facilitate that communication and I think on this occasion the operation has been very successful because as you can see we've seen today. I do not know the person or people who told us where these guns were. I do know that they have taken a risk in doing so. Criminals somewhere have lost their stash of weapons. But their community is now a safer place.